Um, that would be because I clicked the wrong button and now there is sound. So, yes. So, you, do you, do you <laughs> want to go through that intro all over again? Yeah, so let's do that. Uh, so, yeah, we're, we're back. Uh, we're back once again yakking over E3 press events. This is Nintendo's uh, event that's coming up shortly. This is actually a pre-recorded video thing, which is what Nintendo has chosen to do the last couple of years in lieu of an actual full-on press conference. This is supposed to be about 50 minutes, which will give us enough time to give a very quick little post-show analysis and then roll right into Square Enix which comes up afterwards, so it's going to be a busy morning, but yes, uh, now that people can hear, I am joined once again by Chris Cesarano, host of the Ramblecast podcast, Sean Clauser, friend of the, the show, and also my buddy Keymaster, who uh, was with us for the first couple of press conferences and uh, is joining us once again, so... This is going to be um, an interesting one. I don't really know what to expect from uh, from this event because Nintendo has already talked about a bunch of stuff this year, and that you know Splatoon is out. They've had the, a kind of heavy hitter this at this point. Much like all the other events, I'm hoping we're going to get new amazing announcements, especially since they have already said that they will not be talking about the new open world Zelda game at all this E3. So uh, this should be. Uh, Interesting. I really don't know what to expect from this, but Nintendo often, as we know, has the power to surprise. So, um, I think this will be this will be cool. I mean, we're all uh, we're all fans of Nintendo here. I think we're all uh, I think we're all Wii U owners. Are you one as well, Sean? Oh, you're not. No. Not yet. I have okay. been on the lookout for one to like have a sale or something, and it just it doesn't happen with Nintendo products. You what know? you're looking for, what you're looking for, is the Splatoon bundle. Because the tune <laughs> is absolutely fantastic. It is. I know, I know. Damn it's awesome. Game, I actually man. Actually, watch. I watch. A, I watch people stream it because it's just awesome to watch. You know. Yeah. I it's should a, probably um, buy that soon. It's a good video game. I uh, yeah. I like it quite. There's a, bit. a lot of Wii U games. I mean, I want to play like the Donkey Kong games. I want to play. Yep. I want to play all of those games. So yeah. I have a lot of catching up to do on Wii U. Yeah. It's no, amusing. I, mean, I actually, I, I feel a little bit bad sometimes. Like I go into the games with the jobs thread on the game, and people are like, "I went to ranked match for a few for a little bit, and then I immediately left because for a lot of people have trouble." And I'm like, I, I, I got to rank B minus, so I'm, I'm, I'm not struggling that much. I'm still actually uh, I'm not even the level enough leveled enough yet to go into rank match. I think I'm level eight. I'm hoping to level up more this week. Oof. But I've heard that ranked is is cool, but it's uh, it's it's doesn't pull it's any intense. punches either. Yeah, I've been told Which it's a pretty pretty tough I'm, one. I'm, I'm hoping for let, let, to bring it back to Nintendo. One of the things I'm hoping for is we get more details for things like DLC and future plans for Splatoon. Yes. I don't think they're going to touch on it much. Maybe just a little bit. Um, I definitely uh -huh. expect that will will hope for at least more DLC announcements for Mario Kart 8. Smash yes. Brothers they already gave everything they're going to give. Yeah. Um I think so. Is, uh meanwhile, yeah. I, I don't know, like I'm just I'm eager to see what they could come up with. I'm not even going to try and guess as to surprises. I, I believe they have plenty. I know we're going to see more Star Fox today. I mean, that's that's a definite. Yeah, um, that's how it was yesterday with surprises. I was just like I don't. I'm not gonna guess what Sony's gonna do, so I'm just gonna say Last Guardian. You know. <laughs> and those those guys all had a bunch of leaks too. Like technically, Last Guardian and Final Fantasy VII remake, those were leaked ahead of time. Was the um, Final right. Fantasy VII thing leaked too? Yeah, Someone I read a little. Brought it up. About, um, it I didn't know, spread yeah. that far, but it it was a leak. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, and basically any leaks for Nintendo were for Smash Brothers, which that's already covered, and um. There's rumors that Hyrule Warriors is going to get a 3DS port with a supposable playable version, uh, female version of Link. Really? So th those are all rumors, uh, leak uh, materials, but otherwise we don't really know what's in store. Nintendo's mm -hmm. been doing a good job holding... They, they did last year. Last year, like, nobody knew about Splatoon. Nope. Nobody knew about... Um, sorry, like, there's a whole bunch of stuff nobody knew about last no. year, so I'm... I'm really looking forward. This is this is the day I've been waiting for because Nintendo. I'm really excited. Uh, Square Enix. Uh, they've been doing really good with Eidos. Final mm -hmm. Fantasy XV's demo was amazing. So I'm. They 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 they've got my faith. Uh, not. I don't even know if restore is the right word. Uh, I kind of made my peace with them over the years. <laughs> I wasn't liking their games, but now it's like, hey man, maybe I'm back to where I was in middle and high school. Like just loving. Or early high school, yeah. loving, loving yeah. Squaresoft, man. 
Yep. Yeah. Which, I hope so. I mean, I, I, yeah, I'm hoping again out of out of these events. I mean, Square Enix. I don't know if there's going to be as many surprises. I think we know some of what's coming from that already. But I'm hoping we get some surprises here. I really hope, and I don't know. It's probably not going to happen. But I do. But mind you, we said that yesterday about who knows how many different things. But I, I really hope we do hear about some new. Metroid thing, uh, another Prime thing on the Wii U would interest me a lot, actually, uh, in HD with fully utilizing the gamepad in a way that you very much could with Metroid. That would be very cool for me. I'd actually, and I know it's never going to happen, especially now, uh, because even Ubisoft is largely kind of backed away from the Wii U. I... I wish Zombie U had sold better. I really like that game. I'd love to see that get a sequel, but Ubisoft has publicly said that game bombed hardcore, so it's that's probably never going to happen. But God damn it, that was such a cool game that made such good well, use of that machine. They say bombed, but the thing is, the Wii U in general didn't... I mean, the problem is the Wii U didn't sell enough units, and no. because the Wii U didn't sell enough units at launch, that means within that early launch window, Zombie U wouldn't have sold that much. And for them, yeah, bombed, even though if you look at the ratio of people that got Zombie U, it might have been a good ratio based on the market share, but... Maybe. Zombie Ubisoft U also, also didn't review very well because a bunch of reviewers are wrong, but, you know, uh, <laughs> Zombie U got a bunch of bad a bad reviews, too. Was like, Zombie yeah. U before this big roguelike kick? Because I feel like yeah. Zombie U is basically a roguelike. A roguelike is the roguelike thing has been around for a while, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a roguelite to be sure, but... Uh, it, yeah, it, it, that that's it's sort of accelerated since then, but it was still a phenomenon when it came out. But in the, in a console game context like that, it was very uncommon, for right. sure. Right, and and being a zombie survival game like that was, you know, on on a platform like the Wii U, it was pretty rare. Yeah, you know. I just um, really liked it because it was one of the games, even to this day, that still made exceedingly good use of the gamepad. Like, it was a really neat way use, to play I, that I game. I still want to play that game. Like, yeah. like, I want to get a Wii U. When you get a Wii U, that game it. you can find for peanuts, yeah. at least. Well, so. Did you read the the, the um, rumor that Zombie U is in development for PS4 and Xbox One? No. That would be yeah, interesting. Yeah, I read that. I read that somewhere. I'll have to, to, God, I to hope dig it out and look. I hope it was like... Cool it was, um, it was like the day before yesterday when I was reading that somewhere. That but, would be cool. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd play it on those machines too, but... <laughs> Ubisoft, um... Like, if I had a Wii U, I'd, I'd still want to buy it for that, just to mm -hmm. kind of support it, I guess. But, um... Yeah. Doesn't, Ubi, doesn't Ubisoft also kind of have high standards for their games? They always say, oh, Bomb did it so well. Well, but then they expect like you know six million sales and shit for okay that's successful. what you mean by high standards because i was going to say uh assassin's creed unity and yeah. the crew and everything they high expectations the may be the word but like i mean it, they, they do have with tomb raider right didn't they come out at first and say oh tomb yeah. raider didn't sell that well and it sold like two and a half million copies it was but more than that it like... was because they wanted it to do five million which is insane yeah. i mean right and that's they the thing that's the thing though after look at, after yeah. After a while, they were like, actually, it did eventually meet sales goals. So I think Square Enix learned, try for the long haul. Yeah, it broke, um, it broke even the... eventually. Oh, here we go. I think they're... Uh, oh, yeah, 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 either, yeah. A, either a trailer. We're starting. All right. Turn this up a bit. Let's it's see what interesting. We got. It started These out with digital E. Digital events are so cool. Wow, me Mystery Nintendo. Water? Whoa, Muppets? Mystery Water? Oh, wow. Uh, yes, we're ready God, to start filming the phenomenal. Nintendo Digital Event for a new brand new Muppet video game for the Wii. <laughs> it oh, a Muppet. Thank you. <laughs> I will head directly to the stage. Nintendo. <laughs> Awad is another really lovable executive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they keep finding ways to have fun with this stuff. I, I know. Yeah. Better than Robot Chicken, though that was pretty funny. Yeah, that had its moments. Are you ready for the oh, Reggie, oh. Reggie Muppet! He's gonna His body is ready. <laughs> nice. Nintendo 64. My puppet body is ready. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. I love this stuff. They are. Yeah. They're having fun with them. So they they, they do. They have fun with it. Business executives that look like human beings and don't aren't stiff suits that take themselves super seriously. We need more of this. We they have can, a lot of it, considering like they, Bill they, they are pretty relatable, themselves. and Shu Yoshida too, and yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> Sony has it. Microsoft got rid of its, you know, suits. 
Yeah. They have set themselves up to basically beat the Look at that Willy puppet! Wonka oh, movie. that's so good! He's got a Star, Truck, uh, Star Fox shirt. He's got a Star Fox shirt. And I just love the fact that, like, yeah, it's... it's you know, Nintendo is traditionally a very conservative company, and then, but they do stuff like this, and you're just like, but you guys are so fun. <laughs> that really okay. did. Ready whenever you are, gentlemen. I just have to remember my words. <gasps> my words? <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> and they all become the furries. Fox, 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 Fox. Yeah. Oh, if he becomes slippy, that would be fun. No, he's Falco. Falco. <laughs> this is too good. I like this. <laughs> Nobody made it. Oh, man. And you know what? This makes sense because, let's face it, Star Fox, the original character models were puppets. Basically. Oh, boy. Word. This is like Miyamoto making one of his dreams come true. He wanted Star Fox to be like a Thunderbirds TV show after, um, like to be a multimedia thing. Yeah. Right. <laughs> hey, Fox, do a barrel roll. Yeah, come on, Fox. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> do a barrel roll. Yeah. I can do better than that. Check this out. Nice. Launching big again. Entering Corneria's orbit. Five seconds in and I'm like, I'll play this. See, this is the thing that kind of concerns me, actually, I'll be honest. The gyroscope aiming. It'll be I... optional, just like in Splatoon. Maybe. They haven't said so yet. I'm sure it will be. I feel like it would work better in this game just because you don't need 360 oh. degree aiming. It's a good point. Well, the point. thing that makes it tough... That's true. The thing that makes it tough for me, at least... It oh, here they do have the cursor, actually. Whoa, mech? Star mechs? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, oh, that's thing, awesome. The thing that makes it rough for me in Splatoon is the fact that you have to use the two thumbsticks still. And then you have to look around, which, I mean, if you're normally walking around and looking around, that's two different, like, mental processes. You're looking around with your head is one, and your body moving is two. It's the two-stick uh, comparison fits. And, of course, all range mode. That's like Star Fox Transformers. Yeah, I like it. I do, too. Zero. Oh, it's a prequel? This year. this year, yes. cool. Good job. Nice start. I live right by the Fushimi Inari Shrine. I've had a relation with this shrine. I almost thought he was, was going to say, I live right near the Fukushima nuclear because reactor. Of that, <laughs> that I was always <laughs> got their big holiday uh, title. <laughs> when I was a child, there was a TV show about fighter planes called Thunderbirds. <laughs> that inspired me to make a game. I know Nintendo trivia. Elements. You do. There you go. With each you do. Having a distinct personality and their own drama. I love this about Miyamoto. Every game he makes, he's like, I was inspired by this little thing I saw like in the real world and created a whole yeah, thing around it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm here for a job, of course. And looks like I Humbly get standing on the shoulders of others. It's awesome. When it came to talking about cool details dude. regarding how to make the main characters look and feel, we talked about all sorts of types of people. But ever since I was in school, I drew comics with caricaturized humanoid animals and decided that the characters in this game should be based off animals. I then talked about it with Emma Morrison. The God, I wish I was that good at drawing that I could just do sandwich. shit like that. Then I thought, I let's try making a fox the main character. We're entering Corneria City now. Like, I don't know if you guys know, I've been trying to redraw the Ramble Pack guy over right? and over. <laughs> That's the kind of game I wanted to make. I can't draw a stick figure that looks accurate. I can't draw it all. Thinking <laughs> about the shrine, this place is known for the row of arches. So we went with this idea yep. to create a game this is, where you would this was stuff that was so cool. cool. This is so cool. I read Star about Fox a lot a of this recently, though, like the arches stick, thing. I mean, like the one you'd find the temple. On the plane. This is the first I've when heard you of fly it. Fly a real plane. You need to pull back on the control stick to fly up, right? 
Similarly, you can use the gyro on the gamepad to look all around and feel really immersed in the game. We'd like people to play as if they are flying a real plane. It's really exciting. You look so happy. I know. Again, an executive you can tell just loves what he does. Just someone looking absolutely positive. Of Star yeah. Fox. Like enthused. He's like, I've been doing this for 35 years and still friggin' video games, y'all. <laughs> we've tested using one screen for a more cinematic view and the other for gameplay. The Wii U gamepad has a gyro and it's a big reason we decided to make this game. It's a cockpit view, so it feels like you're in the cockpit like this. Oh, so for, if you hold the, the pad up, around. it goes first person in the view? Star Fox games, you play by yeah. controlling your plane in third person on one screen. This time, the game world is shown on the TV and you can focus in to aim on the gamepad. Cool! By using two screens, you can see yourself flying in third person on the TV while shooting down at the enemies below you from the cockpit view on the gamepad. What a you cool can be idea. Really immersed in the experience. So that's something I hope people can check out. Okay. On the Nintendo 64 system, you had to use a lot of buttons. But now with the Wii U gamepad, you can use two sticks to do things like speed up and flip around. There's only one button to fire all the different weapons. So there are four buttons left, and with that, we thought why not use these buttons to make the R-wing transform? Oh, that's sweet. That is pretty sweet. Here we go. On-demand transformation. I think this was a capability in Star Fox 2, so it's it might coming back. Transforming into a walker, Baby's back! Yay! That was in Star Fox 2. <laughs> but since that game didn't make it out... The baby I'm should be exposed we to Nintendo. To <laughs> the R-Wing transformation mechanic actually looks like it makes Baby's a lot of sense. Baby's first sci-fi. Absolutely. There's the land, the land master. Oh, I like that form of flying ship. And yeah. also the gyro wing. Which oh, look, adds a, drone. a lot of breath gyro wing. to gameplay. Gyro wing. With it, you can perform a lot of tasks as Fox. You can also play different stages with other vehicles, too. So I hope you'll have fun trying out courses with different vehicles even after you clear the game. We've rebuilt the game using ideas from the past, but it's not a part four or part five. It's not a remake either, so we named it Star Fox Zero this time. The subtitle Zero was taken from how the Kanji character looks in calligraphy. Star Fox is based Put that thing off on of the eBay, you'll fund Nintendo's next quarter. Me. So I want Basically. a couple around the world to see this cool You're usually character supposed to put logo. something in there, I believe, and you get a little key, unless I'm thinking of something else. Yeah. When I saw it, it reminded me of a foxtail. We wrote the character with a brush and added the logo. It looks cool. It does look cool. Well, Star I'm Fox buying that. Zero. Yep. I'm Why is it called that. Zero? That's what got me. Hi, and welcome to Nintendo's digital hey, event Reggie. for E3. 2015. I'm Reggie Fisame, president of Nintendo of America. We began today having a little fun imagining ourselves as characters in the Star Fox universe. <laughs> but that opening was more than just fun. It also represents a theme you're going to encounter consistently throughout Nintendo's experience for E3. That theme is transformation. Recently, Mr. Iwata has made several announcements on how Nintendo itself is being transformed with expansion to universal theme parks, mobile devices, and our new dedicated game platform, codename NX, which we'll tell you more about in 2016. I was going to say, Today, they're not going to talk about NX. They're not showing it. No. To focus on the transformations you'll be enjoying right inside your Nintendo gameplay in the coming months. If there's a secret to the yep. longevity, they won't talk about Nintendo NX until next year. It is transformation. We never let them stand still. Transformation, interesting there thing. There always has to be something new, something compelling, and that even applies to the game Super Mario Brothers, uh -huh. which is celebrating its 30th anniversary in 2015. To say he's been transformed over the years is obvious, but along the way, he's also transformed gaming. 
from establishing the platforming genre on the NES to the 3D world of Super Mario 64. Later this year, Super Mario Maker will take the next step by turning the essence of game creation over to you, our fans. Uh, I was hoping they would do this now, less because the Nintendo World Championships were enough of an ad for build it. build your own Mario levels that can be shared globally with friends. And who I'm knows, kind of ignorant of this because I didn't even get to I'll watch that. And of course, oh, it looks cool. Your latest I really like the fact that you can just Finally. change the aesthetic of the game. Nothing like in right our there. history has yeah. changed there, yeah. franchises quite like No, so Amiibo. there's a lot of cool tools and that they showcase week, at the Nintendo World Championships. And watching the two the guys try and go through the levels, games for them they, they showcased it as make your own fact, really right now, tricky ones. How Amiibo are about uh, really complicated, like hard ones. Unexpected way. Amiibo? Is that what you said? Yeah, he said, uh... They're talking about Amiibos. I am not into the so Amiibo craze whatsoever, but obviously event, they have the to talk about it. Right to work. So I kind of am. I'm to be here with Karthik Bala from the Vicarious Vision studio at Activision. And Karthik, we've got some great news to share. Activision? Yeah, so Vicarious the Vision, they're, uh, they're up in uh, has always been upstate New York, Albany? New yeah, they're, they're in involved the in Skylanders. For the first time, we're bringing a whole ah, new toy category to life. I wasn't aware of that. This year, a bunch of people at my school ended up working at Vicarious Vision because they were really nearby. And it to this epic vehicle adventure. But there's more to it, right? We've got two unexpected guest stars. So introducing turbocharged Donkey Kong. And uh, his this is, yeah, I heard they were bringing this vehicle, to Wii U. The barrel blaster. So they're we going have to have Bowser. this is Hammer Slam Bowser and his vehicle. This is actually Hammer really Slam Bowser is always my favorite. You know what? Know why people this is why Disney Infinity like was uh, smack talking like Nintendo Bowser. because they don't get cross promotion <laughs> like uh, Skylanders figures as you have yeah. the the various vehicles. What happens? So they have complete move sets and upgrade trees of um, of powers and abilities, some of which are natural. That's things really that you would nice expect, on Nintendo's like part, actually. Barrels My half nephew Bowser might be really into this. I don't know if he has a Wii U, but though. Also really I know he's a big Skylanders nut, though. That harken back to elements of lore within the 30 years of history. I just love this. Characters. This is great. Like, oh, yeah, we are technically what competing can, products, uh, but figures. Let's but we also together. know how to work with people. On a <laughs> yeah. Skylanders portal, they act as a Skylander, but you can twist the base and switch it to Amiibo, and it can be used <laughs> as an Amiibo in another Nintendo game. So again, these so they that is, oh, that's nice. genius. It's only playable on oh, Nintendo. That's genius. Switch between and Amiibo and Skylander mode. So Smart. Now we'll see. Now we'll see how available will they be in a company that is very <laughs> Skylanders. People are saying very plentiful. Activision would insist, I'm sure, like that those be out in quantity. Us to bring these fabulous. And maybe they'll announce that they'll actually Such produce enough like Nintendo Amiibo. Nowadays. It could be. It could be yeah, that the demand is different. We talked about it on Game of the Jobs. Because think about it. More than just children. You know, we I mean, yeah, there are some adults getting Bowser, Skylanders too, and, but uh, a lot of adults are collecting Amiibo. No, no, the Amiibo, it's it's you know, the grown-ups that are driving Amiibo Bowser, demand. Right. Yeah, yeah. Before, and, you know, just, Skylanders is not quite the same thing, so it's going to be curious to see how those two figures go. I mean, hell, I like the look of the Bowser one, so I'm I'm kind of interested in getting that myself, and I don't even have a Skylanders game. And it was just, you know, building on top of that, and we just didn't. You know, we didn't think that we were going to get away with all of this If stuff. I were to wager, it's probably Activision producing these figures as opposed Karthik, to Nintendo, so, so there will probably be quantity of them. And throughout the entire week, we're going to be Again, sharing it more might be that you there is plenty of Amiibo quantity, it's just the audience, the demand is different. Share. I'm super excited. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Thank you. Mm. I wonder oh, I'm curious that? to see. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> this is Mario Maker, I guess, yeah. What? I was wondering about that amiibo oh, functionality nice. in Mario Maker. This is not what I expected. Oh, no, this... That's a... It's gonna be like four Full swords. Full 3DS Zelda game. I love Four Swords, it's cool. I never got to f play that, I really want to though.
Hmm. Those seats only three now, though. Yeah, they said three. Spin attack attire. <laughs> okay, now they got the Final Fantasy uh, V class system. Gotcha. Oh, so I guess those are the items, or the clothes. That might be the case. Instead which of I kinda... having, like, just bombs. Yeah, I must, I'm, I'm looking forward. I, I need people to play this with, yeah. If you could play it online, that would be really cool. I don't know if you can, but... Because I, I don't have... I don't know two other people locally who have 3DSs that I see in person on a regular basis. I know of one person that's semi-local, and they still have my copy of A Link Between Worlds. <laughs> They've had it for a long time. If I could play that online, I would totally get on that. Developer story. <laughs> well, she's excited. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I need her to grow up faster so I can play all these I'm games. Call up all this stuff with her. Seriously. Zelda. Today, I would like to talk about The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes, the latest Nintendo 3DS Zelda game. Here I have the game's director, Shikata, here to introduce it with me. Hello. I wanted to focus on multiplayer. I love the look of these buildings. Multiplayer in past Zelda games was more competitive, much like a party like the game. The offices. Everyone would know. gather to play to see who would get the most rupees. This time, I wanted players to cooperatively enjoy more serious Legend of Zelda gameplay elements, like solving puzzles and going through dungeons. The 3D Zelda visuals costume. of A Link Between Worlds was a great feature. Especially yes, in each terms link, of depth. Each Link Alpha so comes with its own to amiibo. Incorporate that into the multiplayer. <laughs> I still haven't so finished a Link Between Worlds. I have to we do that. Up with the totem mechanic. It's a good one, man. It is a good one. Oh, I, I played a chunk of it. I definitely was love fully it. Realized with the totem mechanic. Totem mechanic. That's a neat way to call that. <laughs> You can carry your friends on your shoulders and totem reach high places. Time. A four-player totem was too tall. So we decided three was the better choice. <laughs> A four-player totem <laughs> required netcode that we couldn't figure out, so... <laughs> no, it looks like four-player would have been too tall. I, yeah, yeah I think yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of taking the piss, but yeah, I, I think you're right. Yeah. Two people in the middle doing nothing. Switching between Link you know what I mean? Yeah. And these two dolls. The story starts in a kingdom you can't help that it, Chris is just LTD. full of fashion Jerry is people. Canadian, and then it's all sticks and happened. rocks up there. So the and king is Amor. looking for a hero who could help. So different players are each claiming to be the hero, and so it begins. Oh, that's neat. Using items to defeat enemies and conquering dungeons is a familiar staple from other Zelda games. So Use boomerang to carry your friends. To fans of the series. This looks yeah. fun. This does look cool. I would love to dungeon, just dungeon crawl tons of fucking items to dungeons yeah. and puzzles. Yeah, yeah. and honestly, the dungeons are really well done. <laughs> I really hope they dungeons drop. Are really well uh, I really hope they drop on. Um, so you know, a fact on whether or not this is online because I'll, I'll totally get into this if it's online. I'm gonna sell my Vita and get a 3DS. Yeah, it's gonna happen. They've been doing a lot of uh, playing with online lately. Online so they have, so you I, can't see oh. their reactions is fun too. I hope Broadband internet access required for online play. Well. Fucking a. Yeah. Good job, guys. Yeah. I'm in. I will absolutely play this online with people. When playing in multiplayer, we frequently hear Mr. Onuma <laughs> yelling excitedly about the game. <laughs> I have the loudest voice on the team. <laughs> oh man, look, it's a spammer in chat. Yep. Yep. I don't know how to. Also for Nintendo Thank you. 3DS. <laughs> yeah. We have another there we game. Go. I don't Last actually year, know how to mod people. I should probably learn how to do that. <laughs> you modded me. No, I mean how to moderate comments. Uh, I modded you and I modded uh, Sparhawk. Of the Wii U game. It will include all the DLC characters oh, from that the, one. Oh, here's, here's Hyrule Warriors. Apparently, 
Actually, Hyrule Warriors sold pretty well on Wii U, if I recall correctly. If then it was a pretty decent game. We are People also that adding it. I heard it wasn't bad. And stages from the Legend yeah. of Zelda: The Wind Waker. And I mean, the, the Dynasty game Warriors Zelda games, Mo people God buy damn. those. <laughs> Zelda MOBA, it's the closest thing. Zelda Warriors is not like the Zelda games I Zelda Musou. It is an experience. Don't worry, Chris, don't worry, uh, Chris really LTD. Well, you can keep making MOBA <laughs> jokes. They still make me giggle. <laughs> they do. It's still funny. Yeah. Warriors Warriors and Legend this is the closest thing to a friggin' Warriors Zelda MOBA, Legends, really, when you think about it. As well as the Legend of Zelda Triforce well, the Japanese trend, basically, Nintendo Japanese equivalent. Yes. <laughs> J-MOBA, Joba? <laughs> oh yeah, here it is. Yep, first trailer. Truth be told, if I was going to play a game like this, I'd probably be more inclined to do it on my 3DS. I don't play 3DS much anymore. I don't have the time to do it. I mean, I, I'm always I still play it on my lunch breaks sometimes. I like the rock music remix of the Zelda theme they use here. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think if she's new or if she was in the Wii U one. She looks familiar. No, she was in, he uh, is. she was in, um, uh, God damn it, The cell shaded one. That comes from Wind Waker. Thank you. No, I mean in Hyrule Warriors. Which oh. she, she's new, she's new to this version. I think they said it in there real quick. Uh. I'm not sure. I think so. Oh, what are the rules? Uh... Oh. A golden ocarina. Q1 2016. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right. Development in progress. What is this? Metroid Prime Hunters 2. No, uh, this is the game they just showcased. The Federation Force? Metroid Four Prime Federation. Positions. Galactic Federation. This is probably what the Blast Ball was related to. Oh, come on, Twitch. Four player co op missions in the Metroid Prime universe. This is going to. I mean, I I'm liking I guess, the look of it, but this I know isn't the a lot Metroid of game I was hoping ball. for. But <laughs> well, that's what that's what they just showcased, and you know what? Yeah, everyone yeah. was right. It looked like the Metroid interface. Yeah, it did. Hey, whenever I watched hey man, it, if it, it controls it. fine, I'd love it. Yeah, I'd play it. It'll probably I'd... play like Prime Hunters. If it plays better than Hunters, then I'm all for it. Fire Emblem. Here Fire Emblem. Go. Yes, finally. Speaking of stuff I still I own and still have to play. Fates is what they're calling it here. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna be a fire strategy, okay. right? <laughs> Yeah, I really need to play it. Yeah, a baby, I'm excited too. Game. Awakening was really good. Um, yeah, you might, that's what I was told. You might I bought it, I just it. haven't played it yet. This looks awesome. Those look yeah, it good. does. I'm wondering if they're going to detail, because technically. I'm not familiar with Fire Emblem and stuff at all, real quick, so. This looks really cool. Well, the thing is, it's like that it, same it, anime style. It's like the old um, Transformers and shit, like the the look of the characters and stuff. Oh, yeah, 2016. They, they yeah. all look like they're Can older than 18. But do it as yourself. Well, maybe not all. Yeah. I'm wondering That's if they're gonna. That would be a 2015. Oh, oh, here we go. This is now. You first. want anime? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you see an Atlas logo, you know. <laughs> This is the, the Shin Megami Tensei cross Fire Emblem game. Yup. Oh, yep. with them J-Beats. 
this is my this is my fetish. I'll say it, Shin Megami Tensei MOBA. Nice. <laughs> I remembered this time. I'd play it. That that doesn't sound implausible. No. See, all the social stuff. All the social stuff looks. Shin Megami Tensei, but then yeah, Krom. Like, mm. It's like the, the, the characters are all based around Fire Emblem kind of characters. I don't know who any of these people are, but they all sound very determined. Oh, yeah, it's Japanese trailer talk. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I presume this is a 3DS game? Most of them have been, right? No, 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 Wii U, Wii U. Oh, it is Wii U, okay. This is Wii U, yeah. I love how they're just not hiding it. It's like, this is not for everyone. This is for a very specific audience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hashtag FE, okay. Yeah. Bananas. Donkey Kong with country. Bananas. Yeah, well, yeah, Donkey Kong something. Donkey Kong 4-2. You, you guys are too too quick. Uh, or maybe not. Donkey Kong, Kong in space? <laughs> Misdirection? <laughs> oh, Monolith Soft. Monolith Soft, there we go. Oh, uh, this is also my fetish. This Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong space shooter in a post-apocalyptic universe? I'd play the shit out of that. <laughs> I'm, I, this I need to pay attention to. We get a release date for this. Because thus far, even Nintendo's all about 2016. Everyone's about 2016. Sadly, yes. That's going to be the... This year's E3 theme is the year of 2016. Ooh. Okay, now that's my fetish. Donkey Kong X. Yes. Donkey Kong Cross Xenoblade, yeah, that'd be alright. Xeno Kong. I look forward to playing 15 hours of this game and then never finishing it. That looks awesome. I don't even know what I'm looking at, but it looks really cool. God, Monolith Soft makes such great, beautiful engines. They do make very interesting stylish, stylistic stuff, there's no doubt about that. This is the dark, gritty reboot of Donkey Kong. I'm so into this. This looks really interesting. I actually love the bananas as a complete misdirection. I love that. Xenoblade Chronicles X, yeah. Yep. 2015! December 4th! They always have a December release. There you go. That looks interesting. Is Star Fox Black Friday then? Uh, Animal Crossing. Happy Home, according to the hashtag. I still want someone to make an Animal Crossing, like, bootleg ROM where you can just friggin' eviscerate Tom Nook. <laughs> make a version of Doom where all the enemies are variants of Tom Nook. I'm gonna admit, I've never played Animal Crossing. I haven't either, to be fair. It just doesn't. It's not my kind of thing. And you know what? It might have... Maybe it was at one point, but like I can't even get into Harvest Moon games anymore. No. Which is a shame because I used to. I, I mean, the original one on Super Nintendo, the one on PlayStation, they're pretty big for me. And these look like they fill a similar niche, but. Yeah. This is more. Uh, like, th this is less an, a traditional Animal Crossing, and it looks like more like a real, like really focused on. It almost looks like a Sims. It's indoor locations. It's, well, I don't know. Like, what is Animal Crossing again? Like, mining? And, like, uh, well, you're know. getting hey, resources right? and stuff to build up your own house and pay off your debt, but it almost looks like here that you're building a town and places for people to live in. Yeah, Happy, Happy Home, Home Designer. Design. Yeah, it's totally like a Sims game. That's a smart Step idea. And it's this year. That's a smart idea. World Ooh. premiere. Ooh, a Wii U premiere. Lighting effect added. I love they had to say that. 
This doesn't go bloop when you put it on the pad. <laughs> and Animal Crossing, Animal Crossing Mario Party. Amiibo Wait. Festival. Actually, you're right. There's... This is like Mario Party. What is this? Oh god. Oh god. Because we need another you know, Mario. We need party. another one of those fucking nightmares. Right now, Giant Bomb on their stream, without a doubt, is talking about how they have to do this after they beat all the Mario parties. And people are probably wanting to snuff Dan for it. Everything is a social event, and it either gives you a bonus or a negative. Yeah. This is not for me, but I'm sure it's for people. This totally does look like Animal Crossing Party, though. And yeah, little mini games. Yeah. This will be selected by the roulette wheel. There's one bullet in this gun. <laughs> There's going to be a social aspect, though, online. I know there is. I just... I gotta go to the washroom real, real quick. I'll be right back. Everyone's got a trophy. Dang liberals. Uh, Yoshi. Yoshi's Ooh, no, Yoshi's War. Island. Nope, Yoshi's World of War. I guess that's good too. Yeah, this looks pretty fantastic. <laughs> Pardon me. Hi, I'm Amy Watanabe. The Yoshi and amiibo. I work in software planning and development department at Nintendo, and I am a coordinator. I work with developers in making Nintendo games. I've worked on Kirby's Epic Yarn with the same developer, and I was in charge of designing Yoshi's Woolly World with Tezuka-san. He's got a British-ish accent, I think. He is the leader of this project. At the same time, he has the perspectives of the player, so he has both elements, the leader and the player. <laughs> <laughs> At first, I decided ah, to make some I missed yarn bits of Woolly World. God damn it! <laughs> I'm not a programmer. Sorry, Styles. Uh, yeah, if, for some I reason, YouTube doesn't work with um. Yeah, when, X, when yeah, you're doing X so, yeah. It, it, the player, YouTube really, player, gets really crashy really when I'm using XSplit. So I thought to myself, oh, is there anything that I can do in some way to help this game? I went home. And I've already got yarn. this pre-ordered. My girlfriend <laughs> and, I and I are really looking yarn. forward to she, playing this together. Yeah, this she, she loved she loved the the the, uh, the, the game the really uh, Kirby yarn game on the Wii. Made at Nintendo, yeah, it's that beautiful. Maybe for a game like this, have you I'm, played the I'm new Kirby game with the clay and everything? Fun to have because um, well I have not actually. And when I heard that, I fell in love with that idea and decided to make more Yarn Yoshi prototypes. I want to, I want one of these Yoshis. Yeah, awesome. I am not into Amiibos, but the Yarn Yoshi Amiibo, I may have to try to find one. He turns into like a propeller when you jump, and he turns into a mallet when he does the ground pound. But also, the world itself is in yarn and fabrics. See, I was never good at, I tried get Yoshi's Island on the Game Boy Advance from the Ambassador program, and I just and in this game, wasn't able to get into it. Yarn as well. So but I'm, Yoshi's on one hand, this looks absolutely delightful. The on the other hand, I'm not eggs. sure. Well, most of all, we want the game the, to be These fun. yarn games, Yoshi's like the one on the Wii, they're very, e like, they're, they're, they're designed to be family to games, so they're not particularly difficult. But also we want to I don't do always necessarily um, mind that, though. No, I'm and that, but we, we didn't either. Like, it's just, the world is just so amazing, we didn't care that it was dead easy. We're just like, this is just so awesome. If I was closer to my nieces, that's where, like, it would be no problem. Yeah. But they don't exactly come over here. If yeah. you think you're a more advanced player, yeah, that's, you can set this is the type of game that, like, lots of I go, okay, I'm going to buy this just so I can play with my daughter when she gets a little older. You yeah. know, like, this is the kind of stuff that I want to introduce her to when I yeah. this start is perfect gaming and stuff. For that. Yeah. It's my girlfriend keeps asking me on a regular so basis, is this got a date yet? And it's annoying because apparently this is coming out in Europe and Japan like six months before we get it in North America. For some reason, I don't understand it all. So it looks like... We're getting this in the fall here. 
you eat, eat things and shit day. them out as yarn balls. And if you use yeah. It well, that's instead that's of how Yoshi's eggs. Island worked. Yeah. Yoshi Yoshi eats fruit and then craps out eggs that you then shoot at people. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I think they covered some of this stuff already. Yeah. That's weird. Oh, that's so just so good looking. Home, the graphics. You can have fun trying oh yeah, it looks <laughs> beautiful. It's too bad that my girlfriend can't watch Twitch at her work. I'll have to show her this part of the archive. In this game, when we turned Pucci into Yarn, he was really yeah, cute. Yeah, Pucci. Pucci. <laughs> so that's why nice. we decided to have him again in this game. He uh, barks when there's an so important awesome. item around you. And now it's Ingvi. Yeah, Pucci, she sits I mean, on cool him. They somehow managed to make Pucci even cuter. Yeah, like, level, this game is just... Like, you have no soul if you're not you just grinning when you look at this it game. It would be great if you can collect all the items in one go, but that is quite challenging. So, um, I hope people can enjoy playing the same level over and over again. <laughs> Most of all, I want people to feel <laughs> happy when playing this up. game. Yeah. I love that. October. <laughs> They haven't announced uh, November yet, which might be when Star Fox comes out of the holiday 2015. Ooh, level five. Level five. What up, Sparhawk? <laughs> Your soul is black. <laughs> oh, I think I heard about this. What was it called? Yokai Watch, yeah. Huh. It's it's sort of like Pokemon. These are this is evidently huge in Japan. It's finally come to America. Interesting. People thought it was kind of startling because they were like, is Nintendo going to cannibalize their own Pokemon sales? They haven't announced the Pokemon yet. If they don't have a Pokemon this season, this yeah. might actually be a really good idea. They don't have they don't have any sales for Pokemon, I mean. Yeah, they won't have to uh, annualize their series, but there's something that they're putting money into that they could still capitalize on that same kind of market. Yeah, exactly. Not a fan of what looked like quick-time minigames in the battle, though. Mm. Yeah. Yokai Watch. Another 2015. Yokai Watcheru. Watcheru. Yeah, Luigi. Luigi! Please be a new You're Luigi's Luigi Mansion game. <laughs> oh no, it's Paper... Paper... Paper, paper Mario's... Mario sort of. beats Mario and Luigi? Two Mario was because it was the new Mario... The new Super Mario Brothers. Yeah! Oh, yeah! I didn't like the last <laughs> Paper Mario game, so I'm curious what they do with this one. No, it's the Mario and Luigi... Okay, yes, yeah, it's it's Paper Mario Oh, it's Mario a new Mario, Mario and Luigi, Luigi game, but it's also Paper... Cool! Paper I am totally Mario down with this. Yeah. The Mario and Luigi RPGs are fantastic, and yeah, they're combining that with the paper stuff. I'm all of a sudden way more intrigued. Yeah, and I really loved the art style of the uh, of Dream Team, so I'm glad they brought that back. Yeah. I never played Dream Team. I still have to do that. And the Mario and Luigi games have a combat system that's a lot closer... To Mario oh, RPG? That was, to Mario <laughs> RPG, yeah. I still need to get the 3DS one. Yeah, that's Dream Team. I have to get that too. Dream Team is really good. That's what I've been told. They're all I really good. I played the demo of it, yeah. It's got a lot of tutorialization in it, but it's oh. really fun otherwise. It's a Nintendo game, of course it does. Yeah. This, I love how they've combined yeah. these two games. This is brilliant! Like, oh, it's what like a... Paper Mario Sticker Star, man. It's like the Nintendo... This is why whenever people complain about how Nintendo keeps recycling old franchises, it's like, yeah, Paper but they Jam. never do the same thing with them. Mario I'm in on. I'm in for that one. Jam. I didn't like <laughs> I Sticker Star so very much. much, but that looks great. New Mario tennis game. Or it's the Olympics. I want Mario. Uh, I, I want a new Mario Strikers. My friends and I played a lot of that game. That's the problem. The the new Mario Olympics has soccer in it, but I doubt it's going to be as in depth as the new Strikers will be. If you can't kick, if you can't listen to people scream as you kick them into an electric fence, it ain't Strikers. <laughs> That's what was great about that game. It was remarkably violent. <laughs> I would love a Mario Hockey as well as its own standalone game, but... Yeah, but it's got to have a fight system in it. <laughs> I hope this is better than the 3DS Mario Tennis they had. Yeah. Ultra Smash. I'll look into it. It's on Wii U, so I don't know why, but I would assume it's 
a lot more robust. Oh, they're talking about Mario Maker, it looks like. Now. If there's three ideas presented to both of us, we pick the same one. As the years went on and we made more and more side-scrolling games, we had to create a more advanced tool to design them with. This became the basis of Random Super Cat Mario Maker. Oh. The tool got so good that the more we worked with it, the more we realized we could also turn it into something everyone could enjoy. With Super Mario Maker, anytime you make an edit, you can see the results right away. This instant feedback can really... Well, I wonder if the why is a cat yeah, making a level? Day, is different we had to every create time. everything by hand. To design courses, we would like last year they showed so little of this the people were really nervous if it was going to be what fans wanted but it looks like they have blown this concept out to a crazy degree the programmers who yeah i mean it looks like it's got a lot of options it'll be crazy and it looks like it'll be interesting if all you want to do is play user created content too yeah when we first thought of the idea of super mario brothers we had a concept of land air and sea See this old sketch of Mario throwing fire. I love seeing these old cloud. sketches. Up. I know. You can now do that in Super Mario Maker. So, so cool. You can even control where the cloud flies. In the old days, uh, Styles, I'm not seeing that level of stopping course, on mine. Get so that really Styles is at work to too, so it might be his work drawing. connection. So we'd put this see-through paper yeah. on top to make edits. A lot of things might look familiar. But you can combine various elements from the different games to create entirely new stuff. Nice. Like stacking different enemies on top of each other to make a huge tower. So and then many things putting on a Nintendo I want to buy now. I know. It's a it, just like with the, you know we said yesterday it was a good time to own an Xbox One and a PS4. It's a goddamn good time to own a Wii U too. It looks like or it will be. Well, for, there are for yesterday it was a good time really to own one like eventually. Us. Because remember, most of the really good Super stuff for those Mario systems come in 2016, like which small shrimp. people were complaining about the early games released on Wii U. And you know what? I'd say some of what they had on Wii U was better than what we've gotten with freaking like Wii Fit Trainer. PS4 and Xbox. Can turn into Wii Fit Trainer. The Wii Fit Trainer. <laughs> it's called costume. Little Mario. tiny Wii Fit Trainer. We have a lot of these planned. <laughs> That's so neat. Super Mario's Every time she jumps, it says up. We're releasing oh, it's hilarious. Amiibo. When you use it, your Mario in game is going to appear. Oh, I want that oh, amiibo too! The amiibo itself is pretty big. You too. will never be able to, to find one of those. The game. There's also a Super Mario Maker booklet. The booklet has a lot of sample courses. Oh, it's, really it's like a programming intro book. As if this is what I love the high heel boot there. The world of Mario, yeah, the stiletto Karibo shoot. Karibo stiletto. Look, and they have codes. You can import them. That's Most so times, cool. I start by making a course I want to play, which is usually so they have like, like a password a system so you can load in a template to work two, with. Two. This is so neat. Once that's done, we try to make it a little easier. So we move on to making one one. It's always like that. You gotta I make one one as a mean person by saying this, but in one one, there's a Goomba, which is clearly an enemy. But there's also a super mushroom, and you might run when you first see it. You run, but there's a block above, so you can't run. So if you jump, the ceiling is low, so you usually hit it. That's brilliant. Oh, I'm going to do a video on the original do, Mario Brothers eventually. Yeah, I want to as well. There are stairs. But there are gaps. Like I can't believe how much this concept has advanced in a year. A floor, this is the incredible. One is the one you want to avoid. Miyamoto's taking care of the kind of stuff I would so mention for me. Sense. We put a lot of thought into those types of things. When playing and these Mario are reasons why the original time, Mario Brothers is one of the only games, if not the, the only time. game, that's this old and has New aged. This usually fall into the first still relevant because they can't make the jump, but they learn from it. They usually fall into it because they can't make it. It's like game so the idea is someone might be software. practicing jumping and Try accidentally hit. You get into game like I could listen to these guys talk about their internal analysis of this game like all day, like just yeah. do like a six-hour stream of these dudes talking about Mario practice, Brothers, and I'll watch it. Become a good course designer. <laughs>
Well, it's also cool that they're in emphasizing 11th that. 11th of September. Said that Nintendo's they want to get people to think about that stuff when they make their own levels. Yeah. And while we've given you a sneak peek <laughs> of some of our games coming later in 2015, there's still much more to share. Next, Nintendo Treehouse Live at E3 begins. We'll kick off with Mr. Miyamoto and fellow developers flying through Star Fox. We're going to have one series. last stinger. I hope so. And if you can't wait to get your hands on Super Mario Maker, the opportunity is right in front of you. On Wednesday from 4 I'm going to laugh at the only thing on. And Saturday from noon until 5 p.m. local time, you can walk into any of more than 100 Best Buy, Best Buy oh. stores. Oh, they're going to have a Mario Maker on a kiosk. And experience the game for yeah. yourself. They don't do the these at the Canadian Buy Best Buys either, of course. Of all of our None of the Best Buys this week me do it either. At e Canada? What's Nintendo. Canada? I know. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping we'd have like a, a demo like we did for Splatoon. Or a company, it's good to reflect on where yeah. you've been to help guide where you go next. Over the past 30 years, more than a billion people around the world have played a Nintendo game. <laughs> Styles just pointed out in chat that on September 11th, we get Mario Maker, Fallout 4, and Tomb Raider on the same day. I thought Fallout is November. Fallout is November. Oh, you're right. It is November. just Nintendo's mascot. Mario Maker versus Tomb Raider. Two different markets for the most part, but yeah, that's interesting combination. <laughs> not for me, they're not. <laughs> uh, my wallet is going to just weep in despair this fall. I really hope I have myself another contract by then. Mario World. God, I love Mario World. Yeah, it's a good game. Oh yeah, Mario time. Make us a Mario. <laughs> this is cool. Oh, uh, yeah. This is a really cool little tribute to their fans. Whoa. Mario Sushi. Bento box art, man. It's... <laughs> nice. Like this is just adorable, right? This is this is so cool. Yeah. Yes. There you go. Mario Metal. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Oh, nice. Yes. This is just, this is just so smile inducing. The pen is always a celebration of, of just everything, man. It's true. Again, it's like, it's like if, if Willy Wonka was a video game company, I know. it would be Nintendo. Not know it, yeah. <laughs> Let's Super Mario dot com. Oh man! Now, oh, now I gotta make a retro flashback and put it on there. <laughs> and no one will care. No, probably not. No one will care if I turn. put something either. Visit Let's Super Mario. I'm thinking, how can I exploit my baby? Into something. <laughs> <laughs> you should dress her up like Princess Mario Peach video. or like Luigi or Mario. Or... Or... Yeah, With it'll work. It'll do it. To the Whoa! Group, Operation Smile. Visit our site for details. Oh, it's, uh, Let's they're gonna make don a donation to Operation Smile and Let's if you Super use Mario. it. That is really cool. God damn, this looks neat.
Like, it's basically ROM hack the video game. Hey. Which is fantastic. You know how Five in all minutes? these other games, like Just Little Big long? Planet, we, we always get Mario levels? Oh, sorry, Andrew, I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, no, it's fine. I wonder, I wonder what we'll get out of this game. Well, there we go, guys. So that is uh, that is Nintendo. Uh, yeah, it's the treehouse is, is beginning. So, uh, well, we got time. We only got time to do a, a little bit of post show here before Square Enix starts. So, uh, yeah, there was um, it was interesting. Didn't get the Metroid Wii U game I was hoping for, but there was. Uh, I mean, there was. They talked about stuff that we did know about, but went into much more detail. And there were a couple of interesting announcements. I actually really like what I saw of that Star Fox game. I think that looks pretty pretty great. I enjoyed it too. You know what though? Honestly, firstly, I'm kind of glad they didn't announce a new Metroid game because now it won't contradict anything in my uh, coming video. Yeah. Um, <laughs> true. But more so, um, I'm actually kind of interested in seeing that they're going to be doing new stuff with the universe um, that you're playing as the Galactic Federation, which I've kind of wanted to see since you started to see them more in Metroid Prime Echoes. So I'm totally down with that four-player co-op as well on my 3DS. So I'm, yes, I'm good with that. Star Fox does look really good. Um, the problem with all these is you can't end up forgetting everything. Like there's something that's Zelda, Star Fox. The Zelda, Zelda exactly. That, that Zelda co-op thing with online, I'm down for that. I'll, I'll I'm glad play there's that. stuff yeah. coming. I'm, I'm glad they're supporting the 3DS. I'm just the Fire Emblem and the Fire Emblem Shimigami. Like just oh, like yeah. I, I, I'm my body is not ready, but I will take it. Yeah, it. Uh, yeah, I, I will. I will totally. We we need to form a party this fall to to play that uh, that uh, Zelda that Zelda co-op thing. The Zelda, yeah. the Galactic Federation. So I need to, I need to get a 3DS for that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I need a Paper Mario and Luigi. Like right yes. Now. yes. Oh yes, that was. Oh my goodness. Yeah. There is so much stuff here that I would love, and that's the thing. Like basically. I mean, you can sit there and compare. It's like, oh, who are the better? Like, uh, okay, yeah, they didn't have anything on the level of Shenmue 3. They didn't have anything on the level of Final Fantasy 7. Instead of recreating old experiences, Nintendo is creating new experiences with the current properties. But it still, is that representative of all of gamer culture? No. But it, it works for the niche markets that they have. They know it. And... Their games are always going to be so good. Yes. So you know they're going to be polished to a mirror have shine it. and then some. Have it all. Yeah. And yeah. Star Fox, I mean, I still want to try more uh, Metroid, I'll be honest. I still want to try, uh, not Metroid, Star Fox. Yeah. Because I, I don't know. Like, maybe I got to watch the video again and see if they discuss more of the controls, but... Splatoon, I, 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 maybe that's what I got to do. Go into the Splatoon single player and practice with the gyroscope because... It's it takes some getting used to because as I said, um, regular like if you're walking and you're looking around, that's two controls. You have real life analogs you can relate that to, but the way Splatoon does it, it's you can look around with your head, but only so much. So you still have a third control to move side to side. It, it's a little complicated in that regard. Yeah. Um, which if you get good with that control in Splatoon, you will dominate. Like it is technically a superior control method it's just even more complicated than asking someone here's two analog sticks go yeah no it's it's going to be interesting i really like the idea of the you see the game on your tv in third person but if you want precise aiming you apparently do this with the gamepad and you're you're aiming in first person uh only when you're holding it up i think that's a really interesting way to do that and we're seeing here on the stream i mean i figured it would be but it looks like it's 60 frames a second which is a1 i like that um yeah, I mean, you guys, you guys can't see that who are watching because I'm only broadcasting in 30, but this is in 60 that I'm looking at here, so that's uh, that's really cool. Um, yeah, no, that that looks really good. Mario Maker kind of blows my mind compared to what that. The, it looked like it was barely a prototype concept that they showed last year, but they are clearly going balls to the wall on that. You're going to be able to do all kinds of stuff. There's going to be sharing stuff built in. I cannot wait to see what people make with that. Like, there, 
if Nintendo was, though, wasn't so, being so such a pain in the ass about people doing stuff on YouTube, there are people who could create entire channels around just playing Mario Maker stuff. Oh, yeah. And I would totally yeah, like do said, a bunch of that if Nintendo wouldn't take all my damn monetization. So, yeah, it's... Um, like I said, the um, usually in any game that has some sort of editor, you get the Mario version of that game, right? Little Big Planet stuff. Yeah. Everybody makes one one. All of that kind of stuff. So, so what are people going to make in Mario? Are we going to get, like... I don't know. I don't know how how robust it is, but can, are people going to try to remake parts of the the level of Metroid or some shit? Or you know, who knows? Gonna, which gonna, the very first level, level it's going to be made. It's going to be Kaizo. Really I can guarantee it. Yeah, they're going to release. Well, they're going to make levels that say Nintendo, give us more amiibo. Probably. I mean, they and can you know do, what? I, I would wager within months we're going to see some of the most popular ROM hack mods recreated in that. Like people who made crazy will. ROM hacks. You'll yeah. see people just duplicating right. that I mean, stuff. You're going to see both. You're going to see people that don't play tester levels just make it as ridiculously stupid hard as they can for laughs. Then you're going to see people that are legitimately trying to make a good challenge yeah, updated and work on their the levels. Games. Yeah. You know? Not even just that. Like they're just going to be. They're just going to be. Working hard to make a good challenge because, like, they showed some in, um, and there's a lot of interesting possibility there, like stuff that Nintendo would never do, but. Like they were, they had secrets where it's like, oh, I'm gonna go here and like, like you hit question mark blocks and enemies pop out. Yeah, like, they're, and they're I, I love stuff, stuff as well. Like, I love the idea, the way they're doing it, and I this comes from someone who grew up in the old school days of computers, where the way you learned to program was you bought like a Commodore 64 magazine and typed in the programs that were in Basic from the magazine and then modified them. Nintendo's going exactly that route. They're putting out that book with all these crazy templates that have codes that you can import, so you can import out of the book and modify it. It's just like that, and it's it's brilliant the way they're fostering that. They're like, hey, you don't have to be an expert or a savant at this stuff to be good at it will give you some stuff to work with and you can learn as you go like that is just so smart it's oh it's such a good idea i i absolutely yeah, love it i mentioned it. in a, one of our streams the other day or i guess it was yesterday that um having some sort of like maker or editor and then having just a full blank template is just it's kind of um intimidating to yeah just like start from scratch you know so that that is a really good jumping off part there's something else that came out recently i can't remember if it was the fallout editor or you know or whatever but there's something that had an editor where like they gave you a good template to work off of i forgot which game it was because there's been so much e3 stuff, there might have been doom snap um, map as well might have been yeah yeah yeah. yeah, so... That seems really to be cool. the thing. I mean, a lot of companies are all about, you know, this user-generated content because they know, guess what? Give people the means to make more content, you'll sell more games. Uh, yeah, and people free will advertising. And people, and people will stay engaged cool with shit. your game longer. Yeah. 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 Well, that's cool. So, uh, well, we got about two minutes here till Square Enix is uh, is about to start, guys. So I'm going to stop the stream very briefly so I can save my archive, and then we're going to do that. But uh, I liked what I saw today from Nintendo. There's stuff to look forward to. I'm very glad I got a Wii U under my TV, that's for sure. Uh, so that's I'm looking forward to That's the weirdest damn spam I've ever seen. But uh, that doesn't even make sense. But, uh, okay, so, uh, yeah, uh, hang tight for a couple of minutes, guys, and we'll be right back with uh, Square Enix. We'll see you guys on the other side. All right, see you soon.